So I've had this guy sitting in a box for a short while now and I finally got around to cracking it open and testing it out. This is the Huon Canvas 22 display tablet. Huon kindly sent this out to me and today we're going to take a look in the box, get it set up and I'm going to be specifically testing it out in Blender. This isn't exactly going to be a review, but more about my first impressions using this tablet and my experience using a display tablet in Blender for the first time. So hopefully this will be an insightful one for you today. And before we jump in, Huon have offered to give a couple of these away to you guys, so stick around to the end of the video for more details on how to enter the giveaway. So let's get into the unboxing. As you can see, Huon packaged these very well. And in the box we have the stand, the manual, drivers and a screen cloth. And on the reverse side here is a Huon branded glove. And contained in here, the brown box, we have the pen, the pen holder, a 3-in-1 cable used for connecting to your computer, then the power cables and some, uh, whoops, some screws with a screwdriver. And last but not least we have the 21.5 inch display which comes in this protective wrapper. I love that they've really gone the extra mile here to protect the display. And the scratches you see here are from the screen protector itself, not the screen. So now let's see if I can go ahead and set this up without making a fool of myself. <laughs> You'll want to flip the screen on its front here so we can attach the stand. You may want to put a towel down or something soft, but you shouldn't be pushing hard down on this anyway. And you'll also want to leave the screen protector on for the moment. But then it's as simple as securing the stand using the four screws from the box. And then plugging this in is pretty straightforward. You'll want to plug the 3-in-1 cable into your computer. It's got a HDMI cable and a USB cable that needs to be plugged in here. And then the third cable on this branches off to the power connector. Plug that into the wall and then the last step is to plug the other side of the 3-in-1 cable into the display tablet here. And that's just a single type C wire that plugs in here. Nice and neat. Then we can just switch it on on the top here using the buttons and we can see if I've done this right. There we go, looking good. All right, let's jump into some speed out of me trying this out. And while this runs, I'll cover some of the specs. The screen itself is a 21.5 inch display. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Pretty good viewing angles at 178 degrees to be exact if you care about the numbers. And it also has this anti-glare matte finish, which is designed to help with visuals in different lighting conditions. And it also adds a slight roughness to give you a bit more of a paper-like feel. And so far I can say it feels pretty nice. On that note, actually, let's talk briefly about the pen. It's a great solid design, a nice rubber grip that fits really snug in my hand and feels great to use. You've got two shortcut buttons at the top here. And as far as Blender goes, I've generally found that assigning the middle mouse click to the first button and the right click to the second seem to be the most logical setup. You also never need to charge this, which is awesome, because uh, I'm the type of guy I've got too many devices and I always forget to charge every one of them. But I don't want to bore you too much with the numbers, because when I'm watching these types of videos, I just want to know if it's actually any good. Is it really going to benefit my workflow and improve the overall quality of my work? Well, the first thing I'd like to say is that you don't need a tablet or a display tablet to get into Blender, but depending on your use case, a display tablet can really take your work to the next level. So let's take a look at my use case. For the most part, when I'm creating characters and illustrations in Blender, I generally use box modeling for its simplicity. But I took this as an opportunity to jump deeper into sculpting and to really take advantage of the extra control I have now using the Canvas 22. And I have to say that I was initially blown away by how much easier it felt to sculpt on this. As a comparison, I also use a Gaumon and a Wacom tablet from time to time, and they're great. But I don't think you're ever going to compete with the experience and precision of actually putting your pen on your piece of work as you sculpt. And using the Canvas 22 just felt much more natural. And as a bit of a random note, <laughs> those of you that have used a display tablet before will probably know this already. But as a first timer, I was pleasantly surprised that this also functions as a separate monitor itself. I thought these display tablets just mirrored an existing monitor screen. But you can use it independently too, giving you that extra screen real estate for perhaps reference images or maybe even following any cheeky YouTube tutorial. This will really speed up your learning game. But of course, this wouldn't be an honest video if I didn't list some of the aspects I don't like. 
and initially there's the screen resolution. My primary monitor is a 1440p monitor, so dropping back to 1080 for me is hugely noticeable. Although I am aware that Huon does have higher resolution options at different price ranges. Also, just generally using a display tablet is going to take some effort to get used to. It's one of those situations where if you don't go out of your way to practice with it, you'll just find yourself slipping back into your old methods and using the old the old devices you've got already because you've already practiced with those and you're already accustomed to them. There's also your posture and seating placement to take into account now because sitting hunched over a screen for long periods generally isn't good for you. So I'd recommend introducing longer breaks and adjusting your setup where you're able to to ensure good long-term health. And this is going to be one more weird one for me. <laughs> At the moment, I'm not sure where to put my keyboard. When I'm using Blender, I'm constantly hitting shortcuts and inputs. And as I go along, I switch between different tools and views very quickly. But for the life of me, I can't find a comfy position to place my keyboard when I'm using this. I've tried off to the side, behind, but I think I've just settled for leaving it in front here, which is doing the job for now. But I'm sure there's many of you that are much more experienced with these than I am, so let me know below if you've had a similar experience and what works for you. So what's my final thoughts? Well, overall, after using the Canvas 22 for a couple more days now, I can honestly say I'm really enjoying the experience this provides me when I'm using Blender, and now that I've introduced more sculpting into my general workflows too, I feel this will probably be my primary device for Blender going forward, even if it is going to take some getting used to. And hovering around the £400 mark for us in the UK, it's a pretty good deal, considering the size of the screen, the pen holder and the extra little bits included, I was very impressed. So I'd probably recommend this if you're looking for a good step up from a regular old tablet, but if you're still relatively new to Blender and are looking to try sculpting for the first time, a good old fashioned tablet is probably going to be a better place to start. And I've gone ahead and linked to this device and a couple of tablets that I've used myself below if you're interested. But I think that's going to just about do for today. But as I mentioned at the beginning, Hue and are going to be giving a couple of these away to you guys. And all you need to do to enter is to subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below letting me know what is your favourite feature about this display tablet. Unfortunately, these entries are limited to the EU and USA. Sorry about that, I think it's just how Huon work. But other than that, my name has been Keelan. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.